Unforeseen financial burdens have complicated the hiring of new firefighters in Jamestown, New York, whose salaries are funded as part of a million-dollar federal grant. Tonight, our Justin Gould with news partner WNY News Now has more on the new hurdle in front of the proposed hiring. During Monday's city council meeting, lawmakers spent hours discussing financial impacts of hiring eight new firefighters paid for by a $1.8 million FEMA grant. Jamestown City Council members are worried about unforeseen costs not covered by the allocation. These numbers do not include any overtime at all. They do not include top time sell back or any kind of impact pay or other forms of compensation. Um, from what I've seen. Um, so I'm, these are assuming that these firefighters do not work a single hour of overtime in 36 months, which is unrealistic. The former first responder turned councilman goes on to say if the additional hires are approved and the federal funds are not renewed, it would ultimately cost the city millions of dollars. It's financially reckless to think that we can put add $3.6 million into our budget. I would love more firefighters. I would love more police officers. But it comes down to what can this community and what can our taxpayers afford? Harkening back to his time working with Jamestown Police, Russell knows the life-shattering news that being laid off can be. Our budget can't handle this increase. And if we don't get this grant renewed in 36 months, pink slips are going to be handed out. People will be laid off. Due to federal regulations, lawmakers cannot raise taxes to fill gaps. Justin Gould, WNY News Now. And here's another concern. If the city of Jamestown moves forward and purchases an additional ambulance, the fire department will need the new hires to operate it. On Wednesday, we'll take a closer look into the debate for the EMS improvements.